in their garage. Well, I got one wall standing up. That's not really doing me much good. <laughs> I got the other one. Uh, it's squared up. I'm going to put the siding on it, and then we're going to probably put some paint on if it'll just keep from raining here for just a little bit. Oh, my Lord. I've worn off my wife. She's gone full-on redneck. Look at her. She's out in the dirt, and she ain't even got no shoes on. What's wrong with you, girl? Hey, girl. I married you. What? I married you. Don't you start with me. Where's your shoes? Huh? On the directions, it says to shorten one of the panels, which I don't know why you have to shorten them. Can't they cut them the right length? But anyway, you shorten one of these long panels, and then you lay them out. Then it says it extends three and a half inches, but it doesn't say anything about cutting it to match three and a half inches. It just shows it being laid down here. So, uh, I don't know. So my common sense brain says three inches is going to be the end of that board right there where the front panel goes on and up at the top. But I didn't cut it because I guess that's why God in Milwaukee made sawzalls, right? <laughs> Same thing on this end. You've got really just like the tongue length, that extra piece right here that needs to be cut off. And I'm sure once I get the walls up, I'll just trim that off. Um, I also added another 2x4 along the base, which gave me another, you know, inch and a half, two inches of height. Since I'm six foot four, I figured, what the heck, I've got extra from the floor that we didn't use. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put one more 2x4 up there and nail the crap out of it. So I got one wall standing up. So I just have to build that one long side wall, just like this one, and uh, get it put up. And we're ready to put the top on it. Alright, so as far as the Best Barnes building kit, this is really the only part that I had an issue with is in the instructions. It doesn't say anything at all about trimming the ends of the boards, and I can see that the base of it is perfect. It goes down on the baseboard just fine, and it's going to be this much too long, about like that, to the corner. And nowhere in the instructions does it say trim that down. Uh, it says trim the bottom of it, but it doesn't say anything about trimming the edges, which I probably would have done before I did it. But I was afraid, because you just never know. And this wall's ended up exactly the same, so it's not like some weird thing. I wish they had put that in the instructions. It would have saved me a little time of making sure that I didn't need to do something different. But you have to lay it out this way so it lays in on the studs correctly. All right, I got my Graco X5 power painter, and I'm going to see if I can get it primed up here. All right, this is the business end, and I'm going to see if it's got any pressure. Okay, I got it bled out. There's usually water in the lines where you washed it out the last time. Alright, so there's one wall on the two ends. Over here's the front and back walls. Got the two doors painted and that wall over there. All of it done! And I can tell you it took about all of 30 minutes to spray all of it. Which was amazing. Now, the worst part of it is cleaning the dang thing up. I hate doing that. Uh, you gotta do it in water and run a hose through it and all this other garbage. But, uh, it's a small price to pay for how quick and beautiful the paint looks. So this thing is ready to go together. Awesome.
All right, so I'm inside my storage building. How cool is that? <laughs> Got all the walls up, nailed down, uh, so I'm excited about that. The only hiccup we had was when we were setting that first wall, uh, and they were helping me. I forget that they don't know anything about framing or anything like that. And it's like, is that wall straight? Yeah. And I go out and it was off about that much. So I had to go saw all the nails and pull a couple nails out. And uh, once I got those out, then we shoved it forward about three inches and then nailed it. Uh, and then they, no one made that mistake again. <laughs> but it is super cool. It's very sturdy. I am going to insulate it and put some walls on it and everything. But the main thing is getting a roof on it. Uh, I was worried about, like, say, codes or somebody like that coming by, but at this point, I don't even care. I'll go get a permit if I need to. Uh, just won't be able to put electrical in it. <laughs> I'm going to drink my Michelob Ultra and go in and watch some Hockey Predators off tonight. Uh, I'm kind of excited. We're going to put the ends on it tomorrow. I'll put the roof rafters, and then I can start doing the decking for the uh, roof. It's come together. I'm Dave from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.